Okay, so I apologise for the fire alarm going off. So all I've done is finish this um, this annotation here and written major motor decussation. I just want to write on a few more labels. So this is the internal capsule here. Uh, so that's just a sheet of white matter. It's all loads and loads of axons moving down from the cerebral cortex into the brainstem, basically. And the axons that come from the primary motor cortex, they specifically leave the internal capsule and go into this crust cerebri here, which is in this anterior portion of the midbrain. Then they go through the pons and form the pyramidal tracts. Okay, now at the bottom of the medulla, what happens is that the, uh, the fibres from each side of the uh, corticospinal tract cross over, most of them do anyway. So 90% of these green fibres are going to cross onto the opposite side. So this is the left side and this is the right side. So 90% of, of these green fibres are going to cross from the left side to the right side, and 90% of the pink fibres are going to cross from the right side to the left side, leaving just 10% on the same side. OK, so let me draw this in the case of the green ones. So most of the green ones are now going to be on this side, and a tiny little portion of them are going to remain on the, on the um, left side, basically. So, now what I want to do is take a cross-section of um, the spinal cord and show you uh, where these, uh, these fibres go to, where the ones that cross go to and where the ones that don't cross go to. Okay, so if we take a cross-section of the spinal cord, then basically it looks like this. So the spinal cord is like an oval shape and it has a, um, it has a um, indentation at the front and it has an indentation at the back as well. Okay, and um, the spinal cord is made up of two things. It has grey matter and it has white matter. And the grey matter is in the centre, so the grey matter is the cell bodies that are in the spinal cord, and the white matter is just axons. So basically the grey matter forms this sort of interesting sort of semi-butterfly-like shape in the middle. And uh, it has a nice little canal going through the middle called the central canal. Okay, um, which has cerebrospinal fluid in. Uh, so this bit here, this um, this bit of grey matter at the front, is known as the ventral horn of grey matter, and the bit of grey matter stretching backwards is known as the dorsal horn of grey matter. Dorsal horn. Then, uh, so this that's the grey matter of the spinal cord. This is the grey matter component of the spinal cord. The, it's also got white matter. The rest of it is white matter, basically. Uh, so all of these are white matter. And um, it's split into two parts, as you can see, by the grey matter. So it has these dorsal columns of white matter at the back. So these are the dorsal columns. So you have two dorsal columns. You have a left dorsal column here and a right dorsal column here. And then you have the anterolateral column, which you can split, if you like, into the lateral column over here and the anterior column of white matter over here. And again, obviously, you have two of those. Uh, but we, for our purposes, we'll just call this the anterolateral white matter column. Anterolateral column. Okay, uh, so uh, the, um, the fibres, the, these axons are going to, from the bottom of the medulla, are going to split into two uh, separate bits. So um, let's firstly draw on where the green ones go. So the green ones were on this left side. So remember, this is the left side. Uh, so corresponding over here, this is the left side and this is the right side. Uh, so the green fibres have crossed from the left side to the right side. Now 90% of them end up in a corticospinal tract over here, which is known as the lateral corticospinal tract. But the 10% that don't cross end up in what's known as the anterior corticospinal tract down there. Okay, so this is the anterior corticospinal tract. And uh, so anterior corticospinal tract corticospinal tract, and the one in the lateral white matter column is called the lateral corticospinal tract. So maybe it did matter that this is the anterior column and this is the white uh, lateral column. Lateral corticospinal tract. Okay, um, and as you can see, these ones haven't crossed. They are still on the left side, and these ones have crossed. They are on the right side, lateral corticospinal tract. Okay, and the same thing happens for the pink ones. Uh, so the pink ones were originally on the right side, and they are going to cross onto the left side. So 90% of them are going to cross onto the left side and go into the left lateral corticospinal tract, and 10% of them are going to remain on the right side and go into the right um, anterior corticospinal tract.
Okay, now the axons are going to descend down the spinal cord. So the, the fibers are going to run uh, perpendicular to this plane drawing. So this is a transverse plane through the spinal cord. The fibers, the axons, are actually going to be running um, perpendicular to this plane. So they're going to be running straight down. Okay, and then uh, we were, these, these axons originally, they were coming from the portion of the brain uh, that controls uh, the movement of the upper limb. Uh, so they're going to go down to the level uh, at which um, the fibres for the upper limb come off. So let's, for the sake of argument, say that uh, these, uh, these axons, uh, these pyramidal cells are going to control the movement of biceps, okay? So uh, we'll see where this goes then. Right, so the axons are coming down in the spinal cord, and they're going straight down, and we now need to see how they're going to synapse onto the, um, synapse onto the um, alpha motor neurons, which are going to actually control the biceps muscle. Okay, so um, let's say we, uh, what, well firstly what we need to know is what level uh, does the uh, neurons which actually control the biceps muscle come off. Uh, well, they come off, uh, the neurons that control the biceps muscle actually come off at the level uh, C5, C6, and C7. Uh, so, okay, so if we draw the, uh, the, um, uh, the cervical vertebrae here, C5, C6, and C7. Okay, so these are the cervical vertebrae, and we'll actually need the cervical vertebrae C4, C5, and C6, because uh, the neurons that come off uh, at the level of the cervical vertebrae, they come off, the roots come off at the, at the vertebrae, uh, sorry, C6, that should be, at the vertebrae, um, which is uh, one above what they're actually labelled. Uh, so at the level of C4 comes off the root C5, or at the level of C5 comes off the root C6, and at the level C6 comes the root C7. Okay, um, and that's because C1, um, the root C1, comes off at the ver above the vertebrae C1, which is unusual. Okay, uh, so. Um, instead of C1 coming off below the vertebrae C1, uh, then uh, the root of C2 comes off um, up below the vertebrae C1. Okay, so if we go down to this level, uh, so we've gone down in the spinal cord to this level of the spinal cord where these are starting to come off, and then what happens basically is that the axons from the uh, pyramidal neurons of the uh, primary motor cortex, they are going to come out of the um, corticospinal tract finally, and they are going to synapse in the um, in the uh, and in the anterior horn or the ventral horn in the ventral grey matter horn. Okay, so these neurons that have, have come right down from the brain do not actually go all the way to the muscle. Instead, what they do is they synapse in this ventral horn uh, onto an alpha motor neuron, which then leaves uh, the spinal cord and then goes into the, uh, into the root that comes out um, at, the vert at whatever vertebral level. Okay, um, now um, the, the, um, the axons, the pyramidal neurons, which control the movement of the biceps muscle, control the contraction of the biceps muscle, are going to, come f are going to have their axons in the anterolateral column rather than the anterior corticospinal tract. Uh, sorry, they're going to have their um, axons in this lateral corticospinal tract rather than in the anterior corticospinal tract. The anterior corticospinal tract generally contains axons which control the movement of um, of muscles which are sort of quite axial, so muscles which are um, are on the thorax and the abdomen rather than the limbs. The limbs are basic are generally will be uh, controlled by uh, axons in this uh, in this lateral corticospinal tract. Okay, so the axons are going to come out of the lateral corticospinal tract. They're going to go across the this bit of white matter here, and they're going to enter into the ventral grey matter horn. There, they are going to synapse onto the next neuron along. So we're going to have a synapse basically here with the next neuron along. So if I draw the next neuron along in blue, uh, and this next neuron along is going to be uh, what is known as a um, alpha motor neuron. Okay, and this is going to be an alpha motor neuron which is going to go and innervate the biceps muscle. Okay, so um, this synapse is a glutamatergic synapse. So uh, the 
uh, axon from uh, the um, from the premotor uh, from the uh, primary motor cortex, uh, which has come down all this way to uh, synapse onto the alpha motor neuron, is going to release glutamate, and glutamate is then going to diffuse across the synaptic cleft and bind to receptors on the uh, postsynaptic uh, membrane of this alpha motor neuron. And the receptor that is important here is the AMPA receptor for glutamate. Okay, so if I just draw that synapse out, so you've got the synaptic terminal of the, um, of the neuron uh, that's come down from the primary motor cortex, and it's going to release glutamate, basically. So glutamate is going to be released, and it's going to bind to AMPA receptors in the postsynaptic membrane of this, um, of this alpha motor neuron. So if I just draw the alpha motor neuron there. Uh, and the AMPA receptor is going to... Um, is going to open in response to the glutamate and allow sodium to enter the cell. So sodium is going to go into the cell, and sodium will depolarize the cell and trigger an action potential in that cell. If there's enough glutamate coming down, um, sorry, if there's enough glutamate being released by these uh, axons.